welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here today to my returning subscribers welcome back if you're new on here welcome on board and if you're just seeing my videos for the first time i really do hope you enjoy today's content enough to subscribe Alrighty, i'll go straight into the business of today so guys today i want to talk about perfumes that i need to give some more love this is going to be a two-part series um because i don't want this video to be too long so i'll talk about five of the perfumes in my collection that i used quite a lot when i first got but i haven't really shown as much love as i should um yeah and that's you know we'll just go straight into it so now when i started my perfume collection about two years ago I obviously didn't have as many perfumes as I had as I have now. So it was easy for me to kind of get to all my perfumes and just use them and experience them and love them like I should. <laughs> but now I have a lot more perfumes that I and and you know that I can get through within a short period and so I kind of have to make a more concerted effort to use all my perfumes um and so what i'm trying to do now is identify maybe 10 perfumes per month that i really want to use um put them on a tray those will be in rotation for the month and i'll use them experience them love them whatever and hop on to another set of perfumes for the next month and so that way i'll show all my perfumes an equal amount of love month on month i think that's what i'm going to start doing so that some of them don't go bad i didn't even know that perfumes could go bad going bad and i mean that got me a bit alarmed so now i really just want to use my perfumes as much as possible and get the best out of them so that being said i'm going to start with the number one perfume in my collection that i need to show a lot more love and that is scandal by jean paul gaultier this is scandal i'm very sure that if you're somebody who is very familiar with designer perfumes i mean scandal will be very familiar to you because it's very well talked about on youtube i mean very popular very bold this is a sweet honey caramel floral with some citrus it is one of the boldest sexiest perfumes i've come across it's so in your face very nighttime club party appropriate i loved this when i first got it but i think lockdown didn't quite help with this as you know there was really nowhere to wear it too i mean scandal is not something you wear to the grocery store in my opinion i mean i, I Quite frankly, I always put this caveat and say you can wear your perfumes anywhere you want. But if we're talking about how it projects or where you would typically find perfumes in this scent profile, it would be, you know, at more nighttime, loud music, party type scenes. So, I mean, for me, lockdown, obviously... I couldn't really go anywhere beyond maybe the grocery store or just places within close proximity. And so there was really no opportunity to wear Scandal, you know. So I also know that somehow uh, the sweetness. Now, let me be very careful. It's not that I don't like it anymore because I love Scandal, but. I think the sweetness is a lot. Maybe I've smelled a lot more perfumes now. And, um, you know, maybe my taste has broadened. Um, and so for me, this just comes off sometimes a little too bold. So I try to layer it now with some musk, my Narciso Rodriguez Pudre, just so that it tones it down a bit and all that. So, yeah. I, I really would be giving this a lot more love because I love Scandal um, and I want to wear it a lot more. I'd gone through a whole bottle, a 100 ml bottle before I got this. So, I mean, that should tell you how much I love the fragrance. So, yeah, I'm going to be loving Scandal a lot more this month onwards. 
So that's number one. At number two, I have um, Dahlia Devine by Givenchy. This one, hmm, I'm not sure why I haven't been giving this perfume as much love as I should. Um, when I first got it, I think I've, I used it quite a bit. Maybe not very often, but I used it more often than I use it now. Um, and I mentioned in it, in one of my earlier videos though that i'm not sure that dahlia devine really gave me what i expected i think i came in with quite a lot of expectations from this perfume and somehow i didn't get it now that's not to say that it's not a good perfume that's the thing it's a fantastic perfume so this is floral it's very um, it's very floral heavy. It's got some citrus, pink pepper, some woody notes, musk patchouli. I believe there's some fruits in the middle as well. I know it has, it has I think, pear, black currant. can't remember if there's apple or something, but I know that there's some fruits in the middle. So it's safe. It's sweet. Um, it could lean a bit vintage, in my opinion. I know that I've also layered this with um, my Miss Dior 2012 because I felt like both of them had the same vibe. So yeah, it's it can lean a bit vintage -y sometimes, just in the way it comes across. Um, but I think it's overall very wearable. And for some reason, I just find that I don't gravitate to it for some inexplicable reason. So I have identified it again in my collection, and I think that I want to give it a lot more love going forward. I know that I said it didn't quite meet my expectations in terms of uniqueness, but it's not all the time that you want to smell, you know, polarizing. <laughs> there are times you just want to smell good, and I think this fits the bill. So maybe to the office or to church, an event, whatever. And, you know, Dahlia Devine will fit the bill. So I'm going to try it again and see if I can experience it differently this time around. All right. The third one in my collection that I need to give a lot more love is this beauty right here. And this is from the House of Oud. Beautiful. This bottle is just stunning, stunning, stunning. So this is Date's Delight. It's from the House of Oud. I can't get enough of this bottle, guys. It's so pretty. Makes a very good decor piece for my vanity. And to be honest, that seems to be more of what it's doing for me these days. You know, this is like a cocktail of dates, peony. I believe there's some tonka sugar vanilla it's very sweet oudy i always say this is a gentle intro to oud if you're if you're not really familiar with that scent profile so if you want to experience an oud fragrance without it necessarily leaning too animalic um, you can try this it's very nice um yeah and obviously it's got that date essence so you kind of feel like you're in a middle eastern um dessert shop that's what i feel when i wear this it's really really nice it's uh something that i want to give a lot more love i know that you know oud fragrances can be, take a bit of getting used to if you're not used to them but this one is gentle enough to for me to be able to wear to work you know so i'm gonna give it a try again and just show it a lot more love this month okay next up i have giorgio armani c intense and that's the one in this black bottle i find this to be a very beautiful bottle design i love the way giorgio armani designs their fragrances i think that their fragrances are you know the bottles are usually very classy you know structured clean lines beautiful unique cap i love 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 
I love the Giorgio Armani C bottles and I love the fragrance as well. Now, I've smelled all the other flankers in, you know, the perfume store, but I've never owned any of them. This is the only bottle of C that I own. But I do hope to try C Fiori. I've heard a lot about it and I it's on my wish list actually. Now, this one is a fruity woody citrus vanillic rose with some patchouli you know and other notes in it it has a very prominent black currant note i know that's what i enjoyed the most when i when i wore this more often you know and then yeah and that's in the opening i think there's also some citrus in the opening as well i really really used to love this when i first got it you know that sweet fruity but then it has just enough woody and other grounding notes to add you know some depth and character to the fragrance so you know this was the only like i said it's the only one from the c range that i have i don't really have a basis for comparison to the others per se but I want to give this a lot more love. I want to wear it to work a lot more, you know. So I'm putting it back on rotation because I really do love this fragrance. It's very nice and I like it and I want it back. All right, last up we have, sorry, I have a thing for arranging stuff. <laughs> All right, lastly, we have, Ange au Demon Le Parfum by Givenchy. This is a very pretty fragrance. But I just, for some reason, haven't been going to it. Again, this is citrus, amber, woody, you know, with florals, musk, and patchouli, and a very interesting leather note, you know. Opens up with tangerine, which I really, really like as a fruit. I love tangerines. I love how they smell. You know, I actually prefer tangerine to oranges when you're looking at citrus fruits. I love, love, love tangerines. This one comes off really seductive, sensual. It's boozy and then woody at the same time. There's, of course, that hint of sweetness from the vanilla. I also get a little bit of the patchouli in here as well, but... The only thing I don't think I pick from this is the leather. I don't really get it. So this is very date night appropriate in my opinion. You know, I think one can actually even pull this off during the day too if it's not too hot. Um, it's very seductive. Like I said, I really enjoyed this the few times I wore it. And I should give it another go because I really do like the fragrance, you know. So... Yeah, these are the five fragrances that I will be reaching out for this month and wearing a lot more often. I'll come back and tell you the experience maybe in another video, but this is part one of the fragrances that I will be reaching out for a lot more. And we'll have another part two video shortly. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have these fragrances and if you love them. Or if there are any fragrances that you just feel like in your collection you haven't been given enough love. Let's talk about them. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really do hope to see you on another video. Have a pleasant day ahead. Take care. Bye.